My full name is Paulo Jorge da Costa Guimarães. I do integrative myofascial balancing. Uh, I've been working for around 30 years by now. I first started at the Cushy Institute with Shiatsu therapy. Then I moved on to rebalancing body work, to the rebalancing training in, in, in Holland. Uh, there I got invited to, to teach on the school and from there on I started um, I started uh, I started doing really my the basic central of, of, of the work. I started teaching on the on, on different other schools and I from there on I moved on to to, to developing the way I worked through um, through osteopathy and fascia therapy, working sp with guys like Denis Bois. Um, Denis Bois has a school in France, in Paris. Um, he, speci he specialized also his own work, he centralized his work in, in, in fascia, in, 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 in connective tissue. Uh, this treatment is basically for everybody. Uh, it works on different areas of the person. It works uh, in the in the f in the phys on a physical level. It works if you have a physical uh, complaint, as, as a bad knee or or, or, or uh, you know overworked shoulder or basic problems. But it also works with the with a, with it works with the base of how this problem starting, and it works with the with the myofascial um, totality of the body. There are no age limits, but there are uh, different approaches for different different people, let's say. So if you are in, the, in, the, in a special category of age, like if, if, you're, if you are 60 or 70, of course you have to be taking in account that, that, that there are different processes happening than a, a child of 3 years old or 4 years old. Well, myofascial therapy basically um, helps the body to get into a more harmonious way of, div uh, of, of, of dividing tension in the body. I see the body as a, as a tensegrity model. And uh, tensegrity is a, is a concept that includes tension, uh, that, that sees tension as a way of communicating from one side to the other. So it's per it's its individual uh, organism in the body, its individual uh, element, has the notion of all the rest throughout the tension it's involved in, the tension field it's involved in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because what I see with what happens with people is through uh, a release of the tension in the body there is accompanying that a psychological and emotional process that people go through. Uh, they basically come out as a, as a more balanced and harmonious being in different areas of their life. Like their relationships improve, their, their uh, sense of, of aliveness in, in, in life, in, in the, the, their pleasure the pleasure way, the pleasure they get out of doing things, or doing their work, um, it, it develops, becomes bigger. Well, we obviously live in a very tense uh, um, environment, which actually is quite uh, somehow um, asking a lot of our integrity as a human being, as a, as a body, as a, as, a, as a total organization, psychological, emotional, physical, uh, chemical uh, organization. So therefore, of course, we get you know this a lot of tensions, and what happens to our uh, perception of ourselves is it gets we get our attention tends to go more to the surface because we have so much things to do in the whole day, where so much uh, there's so much um, competition to our attention that we almost have no time to sense ourselves during, li during our life. Well, 
you see I always this is a funny thing it's just just put it uh, maybe you see what you do with it but I always find found it quite interesting to see how people in 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 some poor countries somehow have a smile on their face you see some black guy uh, somewhere in Africa with nothing with no clothes and nothing didn't probably didn't have a breakfast that day and and he's smiling and I wonder why why is this guy smiling I mean what he has to smile about and you see lots of people working you know in in in, in our society in quite modern uh, environments where everything that's you know that's needed for that human being it's there and he, he, he you know everything has been provided and most of us we don't really have much of a smile in our face and basically what I see is there there is this sense of aliveness of being alive of, of the sens sensation that you're there is just more present in in people where there's less uh, less demand on, 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 on doing things on, on, on our attention on our uh, the less sophistication of of our needs. Yes, it does affect the nervous system. I'm sure that uh, what, well, what, what we're seeing now is um, a, a, a large quantity of the populations in in cities and in places where there's a lot of a, a lot of uh, impulses. Um, they are becoming depressed. They have all kind of different deficiencies, like uh, like attention deficiency all kind of other things what we see is that somehow uh, there's something happening to the nervous system that is bringing the whole body into a disbalance in the myofascial tension well it basically um, the way it works is it restores the, the the tension in the body by doing so it also helps the person to sense herself to get uh, to reconnect to a sense of being alive inside somehow people say I feel more calm inside that's what a lot of people say I feel more like I wasn't there I was not aware that I wasn't there but somehow I feel like I'm more present so it does it, it, it incorporates any technique that that's that you bring in if you if you work with reflexology, um, it would just you know it just work. You just allow it to it will just enhance it as well, because it what what it does is it relates to the tension in the body as a positive thing. Basically, we like you know in most you know we we, we see tension usually as a as a resistance from the body to heal itself, whereas in 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 the way we work we see tension as a meeting point of working we work together so if there is resistance resistance means the person is there finally the person is ex the body itself is expressing its way of solving its own problems is saying well i do it this way you know so this is my resistance so finally i say oh, okay great so you're there thank you nice to meet you and from there on it's like a it's like a dance of tension. The body doesn't have other language. The language it has is a language of tensegrity. It's a language of, of a tense aspect in the body. It's the way it relates to the outside world. What I see as an important part on myofascial balancing is that it works basically with this tension aspect of the body. This like a tension field in the body. And the tension field is made is includes so f uh, all the aspects of the of the b human being, the psychological aspect, the emotional aspect, as well as the physical aspect. So, if there's an emotion happening that changes this environment of tensions in the body, if there's a psychology, a, a, a psych if there's a thought happening, it will change this environment of tension. So when we work with this tension, we work directly with all these levels. Working with a personal touch, that means that we are working with the, with the psychological and an emotional uh, response on that tense aspect in the body. We're working on with the person itself. 
but that's not enough. So it, we do need to uh, to adhere to to we do need to respond to the to the mechanical aspect of the body because it's also a mechanism. It's also sometimes you do need a distance from yourself, but only being distant. It's not enough. You need to also to come closer to yourself. If you see a painting on 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 a, if you go to the Louvre and you see an amazing painting, you have to find out the distance from 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 the painting, from that which you're seeing. But if you just go too far away, it, at some point you will find this meeting point where it does something to you, where it touches you, where it changes something in your in your. We have people like Steele, from the father of osteopathy, has been working with the aspect of fascia. We have Ida Rolf from the from from the perspective of Rolfing. They're both doctors, they, 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 but they were both interested in in this aspect of the enveloping of the organs they were working with, and of the structures they were working with. Um, more recently, we have uh, Sutherland. And we have people like um, Danny Bois that still works and still are is very alive with uh, with with working with the, with the, with fascia therapy. We have we have many people. It's it's just becoming more and more and more an interesting subject in in the field of of, of healing. Uh, basically, people have been uh, there. We are seeing. That connective tissue is much more. We, now we have the means to look at it as an alive thing. Before we were cutting cadavers, we were cutting cadavers, and <laughs> and looking at it from that point of view. That tissue is not at all the same as an alive tissue. Alive tissue responds well. Um, the biggest recognition that I see from from my official therapy is the way that people itself have been adhering to it, and the responses I've been having from 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 clients and from people around me, and what I see as changes in people. Um, a second a second recognition aspect is is the of course the 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 the, the aspect of. Um, it has been now recognized as a way of of of, of treating people um, as a natural healing technique, um, like the the insurance companies in in Holland. They are paying my sessions to to, to other people, um, so I think it's quite a good thing. Well, you know. This work has been teaching me so much. It's been so such an adventure every time because it it it's it's like it asks me to be better. It asks me every time to to look at myself, to look at what I'm doing, to look at the principles of from which I'm living, to look at my patterns, to look at the way I, I, I live inside my body, to look at the way I look at life and to redefine it, which is what it does to everyone I've been seeing doing on the table. Basically, I would like to say, have fun, enjoy, and uh, I hope you learn a lot.